Hello, um, after talking about uh, BCC and SC crystal structure, now we go to the next um, type of crystal structure. Uh, this is um, the one which is very common in metals that have a, a unit cell of cubic geometry with atoms located at each of the corners. As you can see here in the whole crystal, this unit cell is taken out, atoms are at each corner and the centers of all the cube faces as you can see like this one or this atom and this atom and this is also another presentation a schematic presentation of this type of FCC crystal structure as it's clear uh, from here atoms um, touching each other along face diagonal so on each face diagonal atoms are touching. Note that all atoms are identical and uh, these are the face one are sh shaded just for a better view. Example of this one as you can see here are aluminum, copper, uh, gold, lead, nickel, platinum and mercury, uh, sorry silver. Uh, the coordination number is 12. Look at this one as an example. It has six coordination, six uh, neighbor atom in this unit cell and six in the other unit cell uh, attached to this one. The number of atoms is uh, clear from this one. There are six half atoms on the sides and eight one eighth of atoms on the corners making it uh, four atoms per unit cell. Uh, okay, let's find atomic packing factor for FCC. Of course, with this kind of arrangement, you see uh, the most packed uh, or dense case for atoms sitting beside each other. Uh, again, to find atomic packing factor, we have to divide volume of atoms by the volume of the unit cell. How many atoms are there? As we said in the previous slide, there are four atoms and um, the unit cell is a cubic so its volume is a to the power of three. The relation between R and A can be found from this diagonal direction on the face as you can see 1R, 2R, 3, 4R is equal to root of 2A so we can write then this relation and if you plug in these two this relation into the APF formula we will have APF 74 percent which is the maximum achievable APF okay as you have seen in the previous slides uh, both uh, HCP and FCC structures have uh, equal values of atomic packing factor or APF but uh, where are they, di uh, they different? Uh, these two crystal structures may be generated by stacking of these close back planes the planes that uh, uh, we showed in the previous uh, slides on top of each other the difference between these uh, structures result in stacking sequence, sequence. if A shows the center of uh, one layer of these closed pack planes as shown here then uh, you have empty places that we call them as B and C and this should be filled by the next row or next layer of atoms as you can see here so B can fill these spots but still the C places are still empty so in order to fill C we have or we end up with this kind of atoms stacking and then if we continue to fill the place of the this the, the this is spots between the C place we end up to a new layer which is very similar to A so the stacking sequence that we end up with in FCC is layer A in green layer B in blue and layer C in uh, orange. If we continue, again we get to layer A. 
in HTTP this is only two layers uh, if we look at uh, this stacking sequence you will see the result in this type of unit cell which is what we know as FCC uh, there is a very good description about stacking sequences in FCC and ACP in this uh, YouTube uh, this is a 3D shape and this is a 2D projection uh, as I said if we want to do the same stacking in HCP we result in these atoms in the A plane triangle in the between and then we have a similar plane uh, to the first one in the upper part of the or upper surface of the HCP crystal. This result in AB AB site. Uh, this is a 3D projection and of course a 2D projection look like uh, this one. The coordination number for this material or uh, this uh, crystal structure as you can figure it out on this specific uh, atom is 12 so there are 12 uh, surrounding neighbors. Uh, atomic packing factor similar to FCC is uh, 0.74 and how many atoms are there in the unit cell? You can figure it out from here. Uh, the numbers are three in the middle, half for this, half for this. It will be four, four, and these are each of them is one over six. We have twelve of them on upper and lower plane, resulting in another two. Totally, we have six atoms per unit cell. Examples are cadmium, magnesium, titanium, and zinc. Uh, in order the value of C, the ratio of C to A to be uh, ideal form and the most appropriate uh, one so that we have the most efficient packing of equal size spheres, the value of C, the ratio of C to A should be this value, 1.63. Um, here I've shown the stacking one more time in this uh, very nice presentations by Wiley. Uh, this is a tool layers and if you can see the gray one are filling the empty places of cyan one this one is AC layer as you can see the previous one was AB and this is a combination ABA which can be seen in hexagonal or HCP crystal as you can see uh, the lower plane is the same as upper plane and the last one which is uh, uh, happening in FCC structure is ABC ABC uh, this picture shows that uh, as you can see after ABC now the next layer is very similar to the arrangement of A plane arrangement of atoms in the A plane as I said, different crystal structure result in the different packing of atoms. But how we can determine the value of density for a, for a specific uh, material, a theoretical density for a material can be found using this relation. Uh, the mass of atoms in unit cell are in uh, is written in the num uh, numerator, and the total volume of the unit cell is mentioned in the denominator. Um, this results in this uh, relation or this formula as you can see here in which n is the number of atoms per unit cell a is atomic weight we see is the volume of unit cell uh, of course for cubic one is a to the power of three and n a is Avogadro's number uh, we will watch an, an example on this later